and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Radar. Special K. It's never going to be doing a new Jim Beam product. New Jim Beam. We have Jim Beam Vanilla Bourbon. Oh, I look uh, it's forward vanilla to liquor infused with Kentucky Straight Bourbon. 35% alcohol by volume or 70 proof. Now, there are a few other vanilla rums and whiskeys out there. Uh, we are going to do a few head to heads in the future with this one. Of that, I'm looking forward to. Mostly, I'm looking forward to trying this for the first time, though. I gotta know. That's not very much. This is room temperature, by the way. Uh, we should have chilled up slightly because it's kind of hot, but oh well. It'll be all right. Uh, color, uh, kind of like a lighter than typical bourbon. It's like a dark honey color. It's not a whole lot lighter than typical bourbon. It's, it's kind of a regular bourbon flavor. Uh, it's very, colored. very mellow in scent. Um, hints of a like, smells like a typical bourbon, just sweeter and more vanilla. -y. There's quite a bit of liquor on the nose. Yeah, it doesn't have this like, you know with other vanilla bourbons and whiskeys, those smell really artificial. Mm -hmm. This one does not. It smells more like real vanilla bean. On the other hand though, it's not super, super vanilla-y. It could be fake vanilla, it's just hidden by all the the liquor uh, flavor. This is third, we paid $13.99 for this bottle, well. which is pretty good. That is very good for a, uh, it is, it, I want to say it's the same, yeah, it's 35%, it's 5% less than your average white label bourbon. Yeah, and that's what most of the flavors are, about 35%, which makes sense because they're mixing it. That's much sweeter than I expected it to be. It's very good. I could do that some more. It's a little hot. Vanilla is very subtle, but I like it. Yeah. Um, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Drinking a straight, it's not bad. If this was chill and a shot, I mm -hmm. think it would be a very easy, smooth shot. Just a, a ice shaker full of shot? I almost like this better than the vanilla crown, but we'll do a head to head with that one and maybe a, a, a comparison. Yes. Too. Yes. Um, man, that is actually really good. You could accidentally drink quite a bit of this, you know. Uh, like you could take several sips of this out of a, out of a short little glass like a short little fingerling glass like you poured uh, without really considering how much alcohol is in this. Yeah, uh, I'm going to rate it a uh, 7. I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. I like it a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't really like it. it. It's got a good vanilla flavor, but it's not overpowering. It's not very. It's not super artificial. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I like it a lot. Uh, I'm going to do 3 to 1 on that one. See, I feel like vanilla Coke is not has not got that much vanilla in it, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit of Coke, like a half and half type deal. Now, this smells like a vanilla Coke now. Like, like uh, half and half, that might work. It smells like, like an actual vanilla Coke. It really does. And the question is, how much of the sweetness of the Coke is gonna kill off? That's that's what I wanna and know. carbonation. Well, all the carbonation is gonna be gone. I don't, I don't think any carbonation is gonna be left over. It's got a little bit. That is really good mixed. That is quite impressive. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, you get a hint of bourbon, just a hint. Uh, it's, you get mostly coke, and there's still a little carbonation bite left in there. Not much, but mm -hmm. it's you know, good. I'll, like, I'll, I think I, I don't think I, I rated it as straight. I think I'll go with a seven and a half straight. Uh, it's still really good. It's way cheaper than your average bottle of, of uh, white label. White label is 20, uh, 20 bucks. This is $13. Uh, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give it a half point higher for mixing. I think it's a better mixer. It's good mm -hmm. straight, but as a mixer, it's impressive. Like, it's pretty good. Eight and a half. What about you, Radar? I think I'm also going to give it eight and a half, honestly. Like, This is not going to be a universal mixer. It won't mix with everything, but <laughs> uh, you could accidentally drink way, way, way more of this than is uh, considered safe by the FDA uh, because it tastes amazing uh, mixed with a little bit of Coke. And I don't even particularly like Coke that much. This is just really good. Yeah, uh, I definitely recommend this. Go ahead and give it a try. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, watching. for watching. Steel, you'd love this. <coughs>